Hello guys and welcome to the very first episode of Cosmonautica. The game I've been going on about for weeks in uh, Goat Simulator. So this is a first look really. This is a uh, alpha game and there's still a lot of work that needs to be done uh, on this game. So at the moment it's limited to just a sandbox mode with not full functionality, but you can already do a whole lot in this game. The story mode is yet to be put in and I'm hoping it will come out soon. So uh, let's kick this game off, start game. Now I've already created the game here, I will tell you in a minute why. Now I'll show you... Um, if you start a new game, as you can see, you can't do the campaign mode yet. Um, that's gonna come out in one of the next updates. The prologue gives you pretty much just a, a, a overview, like it's kind of a tutorial of, um, you know, how to play this game. And then you can do the sandbox where you can just roam freely if you already know how to play, play the game. So we are gonna do sandbox, I'm gonna continue the, the game I had set up here. Uh, why I'm doing this? Uh, I uh, always want to have a pilot and somebody to repair in my first starting uh, dock actually because I didn't have a medic the first couple of games. Uh, well, sorry, not I didn't have a, a mechanic the first couple of games uh, in the beginning and your ship almost always breaks after about 15 to 20 minutes in this game. It just happens because your rooms have a condition, as you can see. And once that runs out, your ship is broken. So the point of this game is really, uh, the way I see it at least, it's trading, making money and getting a big spaceship. So you've got a repair shop where you can buy new ships here. Now, this is actually really the one I, I want to go for, the Sharkalon. It's uh, a new ship that came with the last update a couple of days ago. I've never used this, but as you can see, it has massive defensive capabilities and pirates are an issue once you get more out in the in the space there. So, um, well, where to start really? This is a very extensive game. So this is our goal. This is the this is the ship we're going for, the Sharkalon. So first things first, of course, let's um Let's hire some people to work, or should we um, upgrade our ship? Well, first let's put in the, the basic uh, basic things you need in your ship. So you will always need a uh, place for your crew to, sh to sleep, of course. I, mm, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna start off small. And let's, uh, so this is for two people, uh, wait, I'm gonna, I wanna show you the other one. You have one for four people as well, it's more expensive. And with a starting budget of 20,000, it is, you know, not the wisest thing to do is be spending all your money on sleeping quarters. Now, I put it behind the, the, the cockpit here because it's the room they tend to use the most. Um, now... What else do you need is a bathroom. Now, you can just get a toilet or you can get a full bathroom with a shower in it. Now, again, seeing when you start off, it's best to get a smaller one at first because, well, this is really kind of luxury. <laughs> it's kind of sad to say to have a shower in your uh, spaceship, but not everybody needs it. It's only people who have like this hygiene issue, which is a, a trait apparently that some uh, mem crew members will have. So let's put just a toilet in there, apply. And then what else you're gonna want is a snack box so your people can eat. You can also get a full kitchen, but again, in the beginning of the game, it's uh, an expense you can't really afford. So let's put in a snack box. There we go. And then you have the facilities. Of course, the cargo hold is quite important. That's what you're going to use to be storing uh, all your goods that they're transporting. You can also get 
um, some seating accommodation for passengers that, you know, you want to transport to who knows where, to some god-awful planet on some dangerous missions that you don't want to be part of, but you will transport them anyway, probably, though I'm not a big fan of transporting people because it's just not good money and there's not really a reason to, to you know, look into it. Then you have a medi, you know, a medic vending machine that dispenses painkillers, and you also have a medi bay. Now, again, in the beginning, go for the for the uh, you know, dispenser because it's cheaper. Afterwards, you can get a medi bay, and it takes care of bigger problems faster. So let's for now buy the, the just a vending machine and put it up here. Why not? Apply. Now we have that in place. Hmm, let's see, do we need anything else? We have a medibay, then you have a science lab, again, beginning of the game, you don't need it, you can't afford it, uh, to really be doing research yet. Hack center, that's for far further in the game, when you want to hack shields of enemies, so you can destroy them more easily. Again, we don't need that yet. Uh, a clean bot is... It's a handy thing to have around. Again, something we'll definitely buy later on, and also uh, a fix bot, which fixes your seal, uh, your ship. As I said, your ship degrades over time, so it is a necessity to have this later on in the game. For now, we're just gonna hire a medic, and he's gonna take care of all our problems. Oh yeah, recreation. I haven't really ever. <laughs> But any recreation because they just don't really seem to ask for it, uh, the crew members. Now, as I said, an update came out a couple of days ago. I don't know exactly what was updated except for the extra ships. Um, maybe now they'll be asking for recreation. I don't know. We'll see what is new with this update. Weapons is something you don't need in the beginning of the game. Like right now, it's really just the basics that I showed you. Um, for now, we're gonna put in, we're gonna fill up the rest of the space with cargo holds because cargo hold, as I said, is very important. It's what you're gonna use to uh, fill up your ship. So let's see how many we can cram in here. We have a toilet, a uh, snack machine. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. <clears throat> so let's, we have, as you can see up here, we have 30 cargo spaces now. Uh, should I? Am I gonna want to put anything else in here? We have sleeping toilets, foods, medi. Yeah, I'll think I'll fill these up as well. There we go. Eight thousand four hundred is the price. It's kind of a lot, but we need we need to get that. Um, okay, so let's see about our crew here. Again, in the beginning, just hire level one uh, crew. It's good enough for the beginning. I would definitely advise to uh, to get somebody with repair skills, so they're only going to be able to do this. So don't be expecting them to pilot, they only can do what their skills are. And then you have their specials, which are sometimes beneficial, sometimes not. So as you can see, this one has an increased food need for food, which will, you know, make her work go less fast. But every one of them has some kind of issue. <clears throat> So you pay 240 to hire them and then they have an hourly upkeep of 22 uh, credits an hour. So I think this is the only one with a repair skill at the moment in level 1. Yep, it is. So let's hire her. And then we need a pilot. Again, this is also an overeater. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't have any, uh, any odd specials that you don't really want so let's hire this uh, alien looking uh, guy his biography is discovered in a cryo chamber got frosted by the Ac academy janitors Fro fostered oh fostered by academy janitors okay has very very intriguing cheeks indeed he does he or she does i don't know actually so let's hire this thing um so I tend to start out with just two crew, one for repair, one for piloting, nothing really more you need. So here you have your note where you can see the the morale of the crew. Um, also you can level them up here. Right now we can't yet because they need to earn skills of course and you can also fire them. Um, 
here in the task you can uh, set up what you want them to do. Now this uh, this person only had one uh, skill, so and that's repairing. So for two shifts, the days are divided into four shifts, as you can see up here. Uh, so now we're in the first part of the day, then you have second, third, and fourth part, and. For the first, I'll always set up so when they, I think the first one is like the beginning of the day, so I tend to get them to do everything in the first two parts and then the two last parts are leisure time for them. So this one is repairing most of the time in battle. She's also repairing because that's the only thing she can do. So then this guy over here, you just click their picture and this guy is piloting, which is the way it should be at the moment. Finances shows your incomes and outgoing uh, expenses and here you can also borrow money if need be um, Let me just check something here Yeah, we still have five minutes left. I think um, so Here you have research for later on for the middle ring So here is the galaxy you can do research for the middle rings and then for the outer rings of course the more out you go, the more dangerous it becomes and space pirates do become a problem and you will need some weapons on your ship, so don't forget that. Okay, so where were we? I was... Uh, oh yeah, I was showing you the notes. So here you can do research for the outer rings, then the galaxy, you can do research for other parts in the galaxies or for more rooms, but that as you can see is not yet available, nor is it for ships. So missions, here you can see your available missions and your overview of your ship, your cargo that you're carrying and your weapons. Now, uh, what is up next? Oh yeah, so at the moment we don't have any available missions, but that you can check out here. So the m available missions, to be honest, I'm gonna be honest with you, the missions aren't really the best thing to do to earn money because they pay very little, like 2,000 here, uh, 1,800, 1,500, and then these are the somewhat interesting missions because these actually pay off. Um, now, in the beginning, you can do these kind of missions because, as you can see, our budget isn't very high and every penny counts. Um, I think for the beginning mission, it's you have this uh, water carrying mission, which is always beneficial. So here you have the trading system, and as you can see, you've got all sorts of stuff that you're gonna have to trade between planets here, and you can see which planet needs what. So the blue is the stuff that they have access of this so this this stuff is gonna be very cheap in there uh, on this planet and this is gonna be very expensive so you should try and find this stuff like somewhere on another planet very cheap and then come to this planet and ch sell it for you know a lot more and that's pretty much the best way to make money um, so the thing that I've noticed is computers and robots are really the you know, biggest profit, the biggest payoff, but first you need starting capital. So let's see here, see computers here are in short demand. So what I would like to find is where they are, you know, in, uh, you know, in access, but at the moment we don't really have enough uh, money to invest in it. So that's not really an option. So at the moment I would really want, want to find a mission like uh, this one, but with water, which is a very big payoff when you don't have a lot of capital. But I think, guys, that is gonna be it for this mission. Sorry, guys, I uh, accidentally hit the wrong button there, but I'm back. Um, so, uh, as I was saying, I think this is gonna be it for this episode. We had a quick rundown of what is up with this game, what is the point of this game in the sandbox. It is really just a training trading game and i love to trade just see how much money you can make now our goal for this game as i said well for for you know this sandbox is gonna be to get uh the 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 on uh i really wanna wanna play this one or 
No, maybe even the Stingray. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I want to get one of these high tier ships. Because mm, this one has not a lot of cargo capacity. And maybe... Mm, let's see. Maybe we'll go for this one. The Manatide. This one is a lot cheaper. Has more room. Has turret slots. It doesn't have cannon slots. But also torpedo slots. Now maybe we'll go for this one. But at the moment I'm thinking this one looks... He also looks pretty cool, doesn't he? Check that out, Chocolon. Badass. Anyway, that is what we're gonna be going for in this series. Um, but for now, we're gonna say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this very first episode. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you next episode. Bye now.